Well, today I've set out on the trail that's close here by the house, a hiking and biking trail. And I found my first composition of the day already. I'm not sure if it's even that strong a one, but I found one. Um, not really sure what I came out today looking for. I brought my longer lens, just maybe thinking I might run into a deer, or some birds, something like that. Um, but we're out here anyway, and I've just been aching to get out and shoot some photos, even though I can't go anywhere that's super cool or anything. So what I've found so far, I have the K1 set up here with the 80 to 320 lens on it. Uh, all the way out at 80 millimeters, I found this really neat tree that's got some ferns at the base of it, uh, some kind of crazy root design going on on the bottom. So framed it up, kind of filling the frame with the tree and including a little bit of the ferns at the bottom. Not sure exactly if I'm gonna like this or not, but I thought it was worth a shot. Um, shooting at a fifth of a second, F11, 100 ISO, and trying to pixel shift on it too, just to see what we get. Never know. So we'll move on to the next one, see how that goes. Okay, so I just stopped on the hike for a second, got a quick shot of some uh, uh, plants on the side of the trail. They're just starting to change colors from summertime to fall time, starting to get the coolness going on. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that impressive of a shot, so I didn't stop and video it. And also trying to get up the hill to the top where there's actually some light and maybe see if I can find a good sunset composition or not. But uh, if it turned out good, I'll show that to you now. And just because I can't remember if I mentioned it, the settings on that shot, if I showed it to you, were F8, 1 200th of a second, and 200 ISO. Oh, handheld with the Pentax. K1 and the 80 to 320 lens at about 135 or so. There may be a composition up in here in the fall. Then again, if I can't find a good composition now, it may not be that good in the fall either. Keep my eyes open, see what we find. All right, so I found a cool little composition here as the sun's getting lower, looking down the trail behind me here. Uh, I stopped here originally because these two dead trees back here behind me, there's been a lot of bird activity going on in there. And uh, I thought I'd try to get some bird shots here, but the uh, 80 to 320 lens out at 320 is just way too soft for these small birds flying around. Um, I took a few, but I don't think they're gonna come out well enough to share or do anything with but this one behind me may work out pretty well. So I've got the K1 set up here with the 15 to 30 lens on it, uh, 2.8, and I've set it up ISO 100 F10 at a 40th of a second, and pretty straightforward composition. Just got the trail in the center with the dappled light coming across from the side. Um, it looks pretty cool on the back of the camera. We'll see how it goes when I get it home. Tried one pixel shift and one without pixel shift just to see how it goes but enjoying being outside and hanging out with the camera for sure. 
all these birds around is pretty cool. I'm going to have to remember this spot and bring a monopod back, uh, especially once I get a better long lens one of these days. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. So the light has gotten really nice up here on top of the hill. And I found a really cool trail composition here, kind of getting closer to sunset now. The skies here are still hazy from all the fires out west, even here in Arkansas, so that's pretty insane. Um, really hope everybody involved in that stuff gets a break in their luck soon, because I can't imagine how bad that must be. But. Uh, this is one of my favorite sections of the trail up here to ride on my mountain bike, ironically, but it's also really cool for photography, I think. Um, trying the 15 to 30 out again, this is my first time really to use it uh, for landscape or anything. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see how this one comes out. I've tried a couple little variations of this composition here. Um, tried it at 15 a couple times in a different spot and then zoomed in a little bit. Uh, let's see very little bit, like <laughs> maybe 16, 17 millimeters, so I haven't zoomed it in a ton. Um, Settings-wise, I'm looking at f11, a 30th of a second, and 100 ISO. Um, I tried a couple pixel shifted, and I tried a couple regular exposures. I uh, just want to see how that goes. A um, couple that I tried earlier, tried a 20th of a second at f10. And then this most recent one I did was a 30th at f11, so we'll see how those turn out. But I'm kind of excited about it. I don't normally shoot wide and ultra wide, and now I've got two shots that hopefully came out pretty well. I guess we'll see when I get back to the house and get them on the computer. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are seeing those because that means that they came out well if you are. But yeah, I'm just having a good time spotting some spots. Mostly scouting, getting out of the house, to being perfect, perfectly honest with you. Um, I'd really like to get some film and shoot a lot of good fall stuff this year. Um, so that's on the books for later. really heavy with the 15 to 32.8 Pentax K1 and it's all sitting on top of a travel tripod. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything for dinner yet. I'm kind of impressed with the way this looks though so far. So I found one last composition on my way back to the house that's kind of cool. It may not work in this lighting since it's so dark now, but it's one I want to keep in mind for the future, uh, especially as the leaves start changing colors and uh, plan on different times of day. I've got this little tree here overhead with the, the leaves are starting to change a little already. It looks really nice. This giant falling apart trunk here on the side of the trail and then the trail coming right up out of the camera. Um, I think I'm going to like the vertical composition best, but I took a vertical and a horizontal both just to see which one I'm going to like best. But I think now I'm really going to end the video because I'm getting closer to home and it's getting really dark. So yeah, give me a thumbs up on this video if you want to, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. how to not walk through this spider web again.